So on day three now of continuing on how to make a game that's kind of like Wordle, we now need to learn how to have the computer allow a user to input something into the computer. So that's one of the most important things because otherwise you can't really make anything. One of the easiest ways to do this is using something called a scanner. So in order to first use that, you have to import a Java package. So this one will be called scanner. And to do that, you want to type import java.util.scanner with a capital S. Then here inside your method, you have to create a scanner. So you can say scanner, and then you name it. So scanner1. You want to say it equals a new scanner. So you're creating a new object. And then system.in. So this line here is how you declare a new scanner. So this is now something that can be used. So here, we already have a variable declared as an integer. You have to ask the user now to input something to store inside that. So to do that, you can ask the user something. So, say enter an integer. And then, right now, nothing's going to happen. It won't ask the user for anything. So now, once you've asked the user to enter an integer, you want to be able to store that inside a variable. So to do that, you can type out the name of the variable you want to store it in. So in this case, number equals the name of the scanner, which is scanner1, dot next, int with a capital I. Open and close parentheses, and then a semicolon. So this is a function here that tells the scanner you created to ask the user for a number um, by using this int and then store that value inside number. So after they do that, to see if it worked, you can create another line of code that displays text and just display what's now in number. So it should be whatever the user entered. And then if you run this, can see here at the bottom is asking the user to input something as an integer so I can put 8 and then here it says 8 again because we asked it to display what the user entered if you tried to enter say a decimal value you would get an error and the program would crash um, because you're trying to enter something into an integer variable but if you use um, an integer, it works just fine. And that's how to use the scanner class to read an input from the user.